Hey guys, welcome back to the next session on uh, matrices and determinants. As as promised, uh, this is the first video where we are going to straight away jump into the actual examination problems. And like I said, although the basic content uh, and the explanation can be used for anyone who has it in the syllabus, but from an exam standpoint of view, I'm trying to put these uh, sessions and videos specifically focused on the Maharashtra State Board uh, first year diploma, basic mathematics. And the paper code is uh, 22103. So all the questions will be for those guys. So focusing on that. However, the, the problem that I'll be solving will be still relevant uh, for any folks who want to just understand the concepts or uh, see something live uh, based on what concepts I've already explained in the previous videos. Okay, so let's jump into this. In this video, I'll be just explaining the, the how the different questions are organized. And then there'll be few videos where I'll be solving each of the problems and explaining you the tips and the tricks to clear your paper or score or whatever your goal is. Okay. So if you, if you take the syllabus, I've already copied the syllabus here from the syllabus uh, book. It's very abstracted, uh, you know, uh, so it's not elaborate, but it doesn't really matter. But if you take the weightage of the overall matrices, and if you check out the syllabus books, it's kind of given as 16 marks, you know, uh, it's kind of 16 marks. But if, you, if I count it right individually for all the papers, if you see, I've taken the last four papers before the pandemic where we had the offline exams starting from winter 2019 and working all the way backwards to I think 2018, I think, yeah, yeah 2017 winter before the syllabus got changed. So these were the four question papers available. And after this, I think we had MCQs. I'll try to see if there are MCQs available uh, based on the summer 20 and winter 20 and try to put it, I could not get. If any one of you have access to the questions, just send me an email to clear my paper at Gmail and I'll just try to solve those and help you with those MCQs and stuff like that. But nevertheless, all these concepts will be still useful. So if you take, it's not 16 marks actually, it's not, it's 20 marks. It's beautiful 20 marks for matrices with all the options, uh, to total weightage of the this thing, right? If you have to attend it. And I'll, I'll put a separate video on how to think about the whole subject itself. But today we are just going to confine our discussion to only matrices uh, and determinants, and then we'll slowly take. And so if you understand the paper, right? So if when I cover the whole syllabus, which I have not, but I've already kind of thought through what is going to come up. So the whole paper and all the questions within matrices and determinants, which is kind of a weightage for 20 mark and not uh, 16, we'll remove the 16 here. Okay, 20 marks, right? Is, could be, pro at a high level can, that can be divided into nine types of problems. I, I might be off by one or two, we'll fix it, okay? So assume that there are nine types of problems which will kind of, uh, cover your 20 marks of questions and we will attack one problem at a time. And the way I'm structuring the videos and lectures is I'm explaining one concepts. I'm going to solve those problems and move on to the next, right? For example, all these pre previous videos that you would have seen, predominantly I was covering the first two aspects, uh, matrix addition and subtraction and matrix multiplication. So after this, the two videos will be exclusively for only those problems out of the 20 marks, which kind of fall under type one and or type two, and then I'll go to the next concept, stuff like that. So you'll see that. Okay, so coming back to this paper, like I said, in each of the semester, I put how many marks it came, and it's, I think, consistently 20 marks for the most of it, I think. Okay, I've put it in the brackets here. This is winter 2019 paper and 20 marks. And what I've done is I've extracted each of the questions that belong to either matrices or determinants. And I put it here with the question number on the left and what was the weightage of the marks for that question. Like one question number 1B for two marks was related to matrices, okay? Now, how, how do I think about matrices and what would be my strategy for preparing during the exams and also while solving the problems in the exam, okay? There are two things that you need to understand uh, about matrices and determinants or it could be even applicable for general for the whole syllabus of maths, right? There are things that are going to be easy and you can easily solve. There are things that are going to be time consuming and there are things that, that are going to be very uh, evident in which the question is structured. And what I mean by that, let's first try to understand that, okay? There will be some questions, uh, not only in matrices or determinants, but throughout the paper where they'll be asking you to find something where the solution of that problem or the question 
is already provided in the question itself you have to just prove it or you have to just find and verify it for example prove something uh, prove that lhs is equal to right L rhs right if that's what they're asking in this kind of questions you already know what is the end answer they're asking you to just prove that this equal to this right so you know that so you cannot go wrong with those questions other type of questions is where they they will ask you to find an answer and there is a very easy way to plug that answer back into the question plug it back and verify whether you are on the right track or not so always attack this kind of questions first okay and then go to the next and i'll explain you what what you mean by that okay one by one I'll, let me take this paper here on this one okay so let's say the first example is for two marks find the area of triangle whose vertices are blah 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 okay i'm not covered this in the syllabus but how do i if after i cover you'll see what i'm trying to talk about what is the problem with this kind of question right a it's time consuming to solve okay it takes a lot of time to solve the problem given your precious time in the exam and the pressure that you have b the marks weightage is weightage is less it's just two marks uh, for the whole time so it's not a good investment if you are trying to see this as an investment of your time okay and the most important thing that i don't like about this kind of questions is you will not be able to verify your answer verification is not possible you will not be able to verify your answer whether the answer that you got is correct or not easily because you cannot put it back in the question you will not know so if you do a calculation mistake you will you will still get an answer you'll get a, still get a number but you will not know whether it's good or not so that's a bad thing right time consuming low weightage verification not possible so you should avoid this kind of traps you should not go with this kind of questions right if you take the second question the weightage is more it's four marks and if you see this again i have not covered this but the point i'm trying to make is there are three equations and you have to find three unknowns using kramer's rule which will come which is kind of here uh, type number six we are still at type number one and two but the beauty of this kind of questions is after you find b1 b2 and v3 which is like finding the solutions to this linear system of equations which i spoke about in the first video where it is where there are three equations and three unknowns once you determine the values using kramer's rule you can pick up any one of these equations or more than one or all of these equations put back the value that you get for b1 b2 and b3 and make sure that that adds up to 9 in this case that adds up to 3 because there's minus and plus here so you can satisfy each of this equation from lhs is equal to rhs and test your answer for one of the equations and that kind of ensures that you are on track and you're going to get the whole four marks right so easy to solve relatively less relative time consuming but you can verify the answer so that's a big thing so you have to always attack this kind of questions first so always remember that when i solve each of these problems i'll come to this each question and say hey this is a good problem to solve and this is not a good problem to solve and I explain so always remember those kind of things where you can verify that for example over here i'm going to skip this question here uh, over here verify whether a b transpose is equal to b transpose versus a transpose i have not covered transpose yet uh, it's num it's the next thing type number three over here right i'll cover this this is type three i'll cover this but since it's a verification i'll i'll do some computation on the left hand side i'll get some answer i'll do some computation on the right hand side i'll get some answer and i know if it's not matching it has to match because the question is telling you that verify this equal to this so your computation cannot go wrong and if you miss it that means you have done some calculation mistake you can go back and fix it so this this are lovely problem to solve where you cannot go wrong this is a lovely problem this is a lovely problem right to solve now if you take this problem it's asking if a and b they are given and they're asking whether a b is singular or non-singular matrix now this is the very tricky it's very easy to solve because it's just matrix multiplication which falls under type 2 but based on your calculation mistake if you do a mistake your conclusion whether it's singular or non-singular will be based on that so you are very prone to the calculation mistake so again this is a kind of a trap which i will try to avoid in my first pass first i'll go with all the easy problems which i can verify and do that okay now here is an interesting piece in the question papers if you see the last questions the question numbers five and six it always comes for uh, six marks each you have to solve there are three questions and you have to solve two out of them right two out of three and each one is six marks okay so total it gets 12 marks credit right 
and one of them is always this kind of problems where you are trying to solve the equations using a matrix inversion method so when you solve say equations this is the same thing like solving a set of linear set of uh, three equations where you have three equations and three unknowns okay instead of solving using kramer's rule which i'll explain you're trying to solve it using a different method called as matrix inversion method which is type 9 here that i'll explain as a part of the last piece in this uh, syllabus right type 9 these questions are beautiful it takes the same amount of time like as, as if you're solving kramer's rule the same stuff you have to find three equation three unknowns okay it takes the same time it's for six marks and the beauty is you can verify the answer the same way I explained, right? You find the three values, the X, Y, Z. You can use any of these equations, put it back and see whether that adds up to three, for example, in this equation. So this kind of thing you should not miss. This is the, if I were you, I will start my question paper by tackling this kind of problems and get my six marks first, which can be verified and then move on to the next kind of a thing, right? So that's the whole thing I wanted to explain you on this video and a lot of problems are kind of uh, repetitive and all those things which i'll come when i solve the individual problems in the next set of videos okay so a quick recap what what i'm talking about right okay let's see in closing comments always attempt problems where the solution is provided in the question or our answer is verifiable very easily so whatever i explained you about where i said these are lovely problems i would not miss that take those first remember matrices are easy it's not it's not complicated for a average uh, student but it can be very time consuming so always kind of think from an investment of time so the return on time is uh, is not good because it takes long time to solve problems right so always remember of that when no solution is given that means like the examples i said okay for example solve this whether this is singular or non singular right when no solution is given you should just avoid those questions for the most of it or you should keep it for the next half of the exam when you solve the exams take the ones this take this kind of questions first not only for matrices for all topics and the remaining you should keep it for the last because you want to score your you want to ensure and secure your marks wherever you can because you got to do some smart work and not necessarily hard work and i'll just give you a funny incident right uh, just for the diploma when i'm seeing the syllabus so your total score is for 70 marks and i think your passing is of 40 percent i think and that equates to 28 marks right and the funny part is when i was looking at the syllabus uh matrices anyway i'm doing matrices but there are videos that i'm going to put on trigonometry so people who are just interested in clearing the subject and not really want to study hard or not want to get a big score and do it on in the last minute if you just study this one chapter trigonometry uh, which is for i think 30 marks or so that comes or 32 marks i'll put the videos on that just one chapter and 99.9% .9 of the problems in trigonometry fall under the first category where you can verify the answer whether using a calculator or it will be like a simple proof that left hand side is equal to right hand side so you cannot go wrong so if you just apply that smart work and you don't really want to make it big or you want to just have an easy score or clear your paper or just get the basic marks right out of the six chapters one of six right out of the six chapters you can just do one chapter at trigonometry which has a weightage for 30 marks and 99.9% .9 of the answers can be verified so you know that you are not wrong and you can easily clear the subject and hence my channel's name is clear my paper because I just want to help those people who want to just go faster do smart one get going other people who want to learn more they're always welcome because I still put videos and sessions where there's a lot of intuition and some history and some fun facts but think about that like doing smart work and uh, going further on that one Okay, I think that's a wrap up on this video that I wanted to explain that how you should think about solving your exam problems in general and how specifically matrices you should attack, what kind of problems you should pick up and what kind of problems you should avoid or defer it for the later and how many types of problems are there, which kind of weight, uh, which kind of come for your 20, 20 marks weightage, right? Roughly nine types of problems. In the next few videos, we will take each of the topics that we discussed and then we can put uh, solve examples on each one of them I'll tell you the tips and tricks for each problem. Okay. Hope this video was uh, useful, especially with the exams nearing. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Uh, stay tuned.